Hey everybody, in this video, I just want to go over confirming that the VPN that we set up in the last video, the site-to-site -site VPN from VPN ASA to the Cisco Firepower Threat Defense is working properly. So what we did so far, and let's open this up. This is the VPN ASA. We did a show VPN session DB L2L. And there you can see 75-10-10-2. That is the outside interface of the fire power threat defense. Okay, so that looks like that looks good. We so we know the tunnel's up. Let's also open this Docker container right here. And what we'll do is we'll ping 10.170.10.10 which is this PC behind here. And we'll open that one up. And let's ping 10.150.15.10. And you can see that that's also working. So that 10.150.15.10 is right down here. This it's, it's actually this Docker container right here. Control C, IP adder. And we can see that 10.150.15.10. Control C. Control C on there. We should also be able to go to here and go to 10.150.15.10 because this is running a Apache 2 website. And there you can see it. And we should also be able to do it the other way around. Let's see if that's working. So HTTP not S 10.170.10.10. And that's also coming up. So there we go. So this is running a web server. This is also running a web server. So we can go over the tunnel to each of those. Okay. So we know the tunnel's working and we've seen it here. We can also do show crypto Ike V2. SA, Security Associations, and we should see, see what we see here. Let's take a look. Uh, 65, 10, 10, 20, two, there it is, 75, 10, 10, two. So it's this one, this SA right here. And you can see that it's working. Okay, we can also do show crypto IPsec SA. So that's the second phase SA. That's the one where all the traffic is actually going back and forth and being encapsulated and decapsulated. And we should see so this is, which one's this? This is 65, 10, 10, going to 70, and you don't see anything, but you should see in the other one. Let's see when we get down to it. ASA to FTD, here we go. NCAP, 125, there you go, 125 DCAPs. So NCAPs, 125 DCAPs, 140, but it looks like it's working and working well. So you got your SAs up. Uh, you see your PFS group, 19, Ike v V2, VTI, there you go. Two SAs, one for each way. So that's looking good. All right, so now let's look at how we would see that from the Firepower Device Manager. Let's take a look, let's log in here. Let's let this come up. That should come up soon. Let's see if I click there. There we go. There we see it. 
75, 10, 10, 2, 10, 170, 10.1. Okay, so in this interface, we're really not going to be able to see. You can go to you can go to the interfaces here. You can see that these are enabled. But if you go to the virtual tunnel interface, you can see it's enabled. But you can't really see anything else. There's nothing else really here to see. So what you want to do is you have to actually just do the same commands that we did. You just go right in here and do a show VPN session DB L to L and it will return 65, 10, 10, 20. It's got a connection there. So it's been up 20 hours. So it's working. Uh, you can also do the same show crypto Ike V2 SA. Same thing. You're seeing stuff. Show crypto IPsec SA. And there you go. You've got end caps, decaps, everything looks, everything looks good. So that's how you're going to have to look. You have to go to the CLI console in the Firepower device manager to really see if your tunnel is working. So uh, we can also go to monitoring. Let's take a look here. We see a spike in traffic. So let's, let's go through the dashboard here. So network overview. And it's going to give us SSH, ICMP, mostly ICMP traffic, because we, that's what we were doing. We were pinging. There's SSH. Um, I don't think there's anything else really. Users we're not doing right now. Uh, applications. ICMP, SSH, web applications, nothing in there, URL categories, VPN out, inside the internet. Let's see if we see anything in the zones, inside zone to outside zone, inside zone to VPN zone, 38 transactions. Destinations, there's that 10.150.15.10. Um, attackers, we're not going to see anything. Targets, nothing in there. Threats, no file logs. Malware, SSL decryption, we're not doing that right now. So we can go to events and connections. And here you can see initiator IP, responder IP, that's a ping. And that's going to port 80. Uh, the intrusion, all this stuff we don't really, we're not really using right now. And sessions, that's just going to be the admin session. So if we go to policies, let's see what we can see here. So here are three rules that we created security policies. So a nice thing you can do is you can click right on this toggle hit counts. And it'll show you the hit count and the last hit. So you can see we have eight hits here and 11 hits for VPN return. So let's refresh this though. It seems like you have to refresh it or else it doesn't update. Cause yeah, here, 38, 41. So there you go. So we're seeing traffic hitting VPN out and VPN return which are the two rules that we did in the last video. Okay. I think that's, uh, I think that's all we want to look at in here. So that's just how you would take a look at your, to make sure your site to site VPN is working in both the ASA and firepower threat defense. So thank you very much for watching.